Welcome to Strip Cover, where we squeeze the bigger picture out of literature. I'm Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And I'm Monse. Hey! We got someone on world tour. Look what we just found. A world tour of one state. She's traveling. <laughs> I feel like if you're going on world tour and you select Missouri, <laughs> you did it wrong. You're, yeah. Your you're producer ruined. is screwing you over. <laughs> yeah. Hard. Anyway, how are you? I'm good. Mm-hmm. Every time, like I mentioned, I'm going to Kansas City, people say... What, what the fuck? Where the fuck's Kansas yeah. City? Yeah. A, where is it and why? Why are you going to Kansas? Yeah, exactly. Have you, like, shown her the difference between Kansas and Missouri yet? No. Oh, that's a treat. No. That's a treat. You see how, like, you can kind of see a little bit of civilization? Like, there's, yeah. like, buildings? There's nothing in Kansas. Like, it is literally flat to the point that you can see 30 miles down the road. <laughs> it is that you have flatness and crime. Desolate. And you have... Or you have, like, super... Upper class wealthy. Like, that's where all the, all the Chiefs players live on the Kansas side. Yeah. All the athletes live on the Kansas side. I got a buddy of mine who moved to Overland Park, and, like, the, I, he actually watches this. So <laughs> the minute he moved to Overland Park, it's just, like, that level of pretentiousness just, like, rose within him. There's no way. To, all your friends are pretentious anyway. Oh, it, it got so much worse. It got so much worse. Like, we're poor people pretentious. He became rich people pretentious. Mm. There's a huge difference between that there. So pretentious and condescending. Yes, like, I'm a piece of shit and I know it, but I'm pretty fucking awesome. He's now a piece of shit and he knows it, but he has the status to back it up. I'm like, shit, I don't like this. Anyway, how's Missouri treating you? How terrible is this place? It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. Okay. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means it, it really doesn't look that different from where I'm from. Mm. Yeah. Although there was rain earlier, and Monse said that it was the most extreme, <laughs> the most extreme weather she's ever lived through. It's the lightning. The lightning throws you off. You've it's, never seen lightning. Yes, I have. But like when you're on a plane and all of a sudden you see like lightning, it just kind of freaks you out a little. No, not when you were on the plane. Earlier today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's mind-blowing because I don't see it that often. We get rain, like, maybe two, three times a year. And you've never seen hail? Did you see hail? Yeah, I've you've seen, seen hail. hail. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hail's when, like, ice cubes fall from the sky. Yeah, but we don't get it that big, though. Okay. Yeah. Like, we were talking about weather earlier, and, like, I'm trying to, like, build her up for this. I'm like, I know it's, like, 85 degrees and it was raining a lot today. It might snow tomorrow, so you need to be prepared for that. Hope you brought okay. your snow boots and, you know... Or at least closed shoes. Closed shoes are a yeah. plus we here. We know what you wear in California? I, I didn't bring pants. Oh, well, you're <laughs> going to suffer. This is going to be... I hope it is 30 degrees in the morning. It very well might be 40 degrees. Yeah, it's a thing. Really? Yeah. It's a thing. Yeah. 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 I'll live. So, what's it like to be on the strip cover lit set? It's weird. What do you mean it's weird? What's that supposed to mean? That's smell? How I, that's how no. I feel. I like the smell. Okay. No, it's just like... It's just weird putting... Even from watching from the side, it's like different. It's not like how when you watch the video. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Does that sound? I know that sounds really stupid, but no, I wouldn't say it sounds stupid. It's like I know we've talked about your apartment like before in the past, and like we try to tell people like, no, th- this is literally it. This like, is ninety percent of my. This apartment. is ninety percent of the apartment. Yeah. It's a thing. It's a thing. My soup cans are right there that I stare off into in the <laughs> abyss as Adrian's talking, and I'm trying to look like I'm paying attention. Um. To quote Dalton. <laughs> much I, much. <laughs> I you say that now but like I, I have my house is huge yeah so like i'm needy why don't you play the role of every strip cover lit viewer and touch his poof okay it is the most like just the hair in general you know what i mean and like wow they really don't come off <laughs> I tell you about this time I went to go get my hair cut when I was younger. Huh. So like I used to like I used to rock a huge fro. Like I'm going yeah. to show you that later. My apologies. Okay. Uh, and like I went to go get it cut one day, and like we went down in like downtown Kansas City. I think it was like a Metro North Mall when it was still open. That's not downtown. Uh, well, That's way north of here. I don't actually. know how Kansas City works. Like all of this area is Kansas City. Yeah. And like I sit down, and this lady, and she's a black woman, uh, is getting ready to cut my hair, and she just stares at me. And she goes, listen, I've cut a lot of hair in my day, and I've cut a lot of hair like this, but you're the first white boy to come in with hair <laughs> like this. I'm like, all right, okay, that's fair. It's very fair. I'm not sure what it was that forced you into your St. Joe accent for that. that yeah, was, right. 
Is that a St. Joe <laughs> accent? Is that a thing? I remember when we launched uh, uh, the Aristocrats and everybody commented on your St. Joe accent? Ah, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> it's, you were it's not, rough. You were not on it's the strip rough. cover lit set. You were in St. Joe. You have so to you... adapt to where you are. Yeah. Like, this is the strip cover lit voice. I have a work voice. I have my St. Joe voice. There's voices. you got to have that. And what's your drunk voice? We're going to get there later, hopefully. I, I think that <laughs> might be a thing. We'll so, see. Monse brought her California voice out yeah. here. I do not have a California accent. I do accent. not have a California accent. I just I speak just me. I speak just me. I do not sound like that. Okay, all right. I can't understand anything you've been saying. I've just been smiling and nodding this whole time. So. <laughs> oh I do God. have. I do have. Yeah, you're like a foreigner over here. I do okay. have one. I literally am imported goods. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I do have one complaint. Okay. Um, not about you. Oh, okay, then I don't care. But about strip cover lit. People enjoyed far too much your return. Hey, it was nice, wasn't I, it? Um, I've been here all along. <laughs> no one cares. You guys can kiss an ass. Like, I also, like, I am super nervous about this setup. I'm interrupting you. I hope this sounds okay, and I hope, like, I'm in frame. I hope you're not. Because I feel like every time I lean back, like, my head just gets cut off and, like, eh, piss it on be. it. We've, we've never done the three-person setup on Strip Cover Lake. It's we've, bizarre. But yeah. anyway, back to me. Back to uh, you. It was wonderful. Like, I kept checking my phone. I'm like, oh, Dalton's back. I'm like, hmm. Yes, I am. It'll be two weeks until people are calling you stupid again. I know, I know, it's wonderful. It never stopped for me. It's like, (laughs) oh, look at him, he's trying again. (laughs) There was one person, though, and, like, I apologize, I don't remember who said this, but, like, the comment was just, what the fuck? I'm like, (laughs) that's what I was actually expecting, so thank you. You put me back down to reality. (laughs) Just just a couple pegs, that's all I ask. Just me down a few pegs, Just say a couple mean things about Dalton in in the comments section. Just a couple. Fair enough, fair enough. We gotta keep you humble so you don't, you know, get a stupid haircut or anything. Get a big, you are all about that. Like, I feel like I should take this out of the man bun right now. Like, it's bad, man. Like, it is 1980s pencil. Can you do it? Can you do it? No. Why not? I'm not doing that Real on quick, camera. Please. No. Just once. I will not be able to get it back. It's not like they're gonna see the top of your head anyway on air. I, this is fair, and that's not happening. Like, I have this is my appearance, and that's what we're going with. All right. All right. Uh, so what do we what do we talk about? We gotta. Monse's gonna take the show. I don't know what we're going to talk about. Just, you know. I don't know either. You didn't bring your notebook with, like, the notes of what you're supposed to be talking about? I didn't even know what we were going to do or film. I didn't even know, you know. Like, I actually have my, this says strip cover notes from October 2016 (laughs) Ford. There's a gap. There's a small gap. (laughs) Yeah. Only about a year and a half. Nah. Your handwriting is legible, though. Thank you. His is not. His is absolutely awful. Mine, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. Like, I, so... I can read it. We both work night shift, and it sucks. And, like, trying to make time for everything sucks. And I text Adrian today, I'm like, hey, listen, I'm going to take Sunday to sit down and do some things that we need to do for the channel. Some uh, tech stuff, some stuff we need to, you know, get, you know, rolling with this that you wanted me to do. No problem. And I said, Adrian, just write me a list of what you want done. And then I realized, had you actually written that list... I would have no fucking clue what I was supposed to be doing because I cannot read your handwriting no. in the slightest. No. No. That's why I didn't do it. Oh, fair <laughs> I was like, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll talk about it. But we will not talk about it because, as per usual, Dalton shows up and wants to have three cigarettes. This is a thing. And I only had two. No, you had one when you first showed up and two 15 minutes later. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, here's the thing. We used to smoke cigars on this channel, which was fine. We yeah. could smoke cigars in Adrian's apartment. But, like, I'm like, so can I just, like, smoke a cigarette? He's like, no. No. Why? Absolutely What's not. Uh, there's a very big difference between the smell of old cigar smoke, which makes gives me the nice, crusty old man scent that I have. People yeah. like crusty old the, Adrian. And the <laughs> sour scent of cigarettes being smoked inside. The sour scent of cigarette smoke is terrible. How long have you been smoking like that? Like a chimney? Yeah. Yeah. How are you not dead? How are you not I, dead? It's actually a good point. I don't know. Like, I think I was like 19. Dalton has quit smoking like 30 times, which means that he's never quit smoking. He stopped. I always stop smoking because I'm like, you know what? This is expensive. It's bad for me. I'm going to stop smoking. And it's fine for a while. But there's always some like weird event that I'm like, cigarette. And honestly, the last time, like I stopped at gas station, I'm like, you know what? Cigarette sounds pretty good. No reason. I think I'll have one. It's been like six months. Have a cigarette. Hasn't stopped since. And then, like, the first cigarette you smoke after, like, not smoking, you're like, yeah, 
This tastes terrible. Why do I like this? I should try another. <laughs> this tastes terrible. I should wash the taste out of my mouth with another yeah, cigarette. I feel like I should like put up a big disclaimer. Like, I am not endorsed by any tobacco <laughs> products right now. But it's, it's a thing. It's I feel thing. like if you were to move to California, you'd instantly become like a huge pothead. Okay, that that's fair. People do assume like, that. Like intense pothead. People really assume that I have a very Seth Rogen look about me. Yes. Like no Seth Rogen voice, but like the look. <laughs> so, I don't like Seth Rogen, but okay. well, no one likes Seth Rogen. I think. <laughs> and this is why people say I look like Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> we just put you in the same bin as the Seth Rogen. The Seth Rogen bin. It's yeah. like the clearance bin at the yeah. gas station yeah. where you're like, oh, do I want that expired beef jerky? I don't want that expired beef jerky, but it's a quarter. <laughs> And I will regret it later. I'll give it a shot. I, I will go ahead and assume that regret. Fair enough. Uh, so, California and Missouri yeah. are very different places. And, like, I have done nothing today except make fun of California. So California? California. Like, I offered to go buy her some avocados. <laughs> like, just ease her are, transition. Are they really, like, eight bucks here? They're, like... Usually like, digits, they're like yeah. bucks. Really? Like, yeah. An avocado? <laughs> no, I have no idea. I've never, I don't buy avocados. They're very carnivore. good. They're usually like they're two bucks an avocado. Yeah. Like minimum. And they're like hard as a rock. They're awful. No. Yeah. You're I'm not spoiled. Gonna... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I have we never had... great potatoes, though. Oh, potatoes and beef. I feel like at any point in time I'll you have to justify like our potatoes are great. You're not in a good area. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this is not a good place. Like, welcome to Poland. Our potatoes are great. <laughs> And there goes the Polish subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Though the Barnes and Nobles is fancy. I like it. It is a nice Barnes and Nobles. Yeah. So you went to Zona Rosa. Yeah. Okay. Zona yeah. Rosa is a very nice area. It's yeah. a good shopping Our, ours area. Ours is just one floor. Okay. Yeah, and it's very small. But we do have a Starbucks, so that's nice. It doesn't, is there like a Starbucks on like every corner of California? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. like, I, that doesn't mean anything to me. No. There is one in, uh, no, there's, there's two real ones. North of the river here in Kansas City. There's only two Starbucks here? In the whole city of Kansas City? Uh, Not the whole city. South of the river. So Kansas City is hugely expansive. Yeah. Uh, But we're from the Midwest. So while we're willing to drive large distances, we always set physical boundaries for ourselves. (laughs) If you live south of the river, you don't go north of the river. If you live north of the river, you don't go south of the river. Okay. If you live... Uh, on this side of Independence, you don't go into Independence. If you live in Independence, you don't come to this side of Kansas City. So I have no idea how many Starbucks there actually are. Is that not okay. a normal thing? I don't imagine it is. Uh, people in California don't go anywhere, right? Like everything's in don't go anywhere. three square blocks of where they live. They don't go because the, the highway system sucks or something. The, well, where I live, everything's kind of, yeah, you, it's driving distance, sort of. Oh, it's driving distance? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, thought I figured everybody walked or rode skateboards or surfboards down Bice, the street. Bike. Yeah. Bikes? Yeah. Okay. We have runners and hikers. Seems like an Erica thing. Erica seems <laughs> like she bikes everywhere. Erica from the Perks of Books. Erica, that sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a huge thing in Missouri, though. And, like, I realized this after I, like, I moved back from France and, like, I was living in a very major city. And, like, the first week I was back, I'm like, I'm going to go visit my parents. And they live, like, a mile away from me. I'm like, I'm just going to walk. It's a nice day. And, like, four or five people stop and, like, hey, you all right? You need a ride. Your car broke down. You need anything? I'm like, no, I'm just walking. It's a nice day. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, a lot of it is, A, there's no sidewalks. True. B, if you are in a bike lane, which there are some bike lanes in Kansas City, you're getting buzzed by traffic. Yeah. So, like, even if you want to do those things, it's very difficult. There's no bike lanes? There's yeah. very few. Like, very, very few. We'll, we'll ha- we do have some scary bike lanes where it's, like, right in the middle. And that, like, freaks me out. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the biker's gonna die. Yeah. I live about 45 minutes away from Kansas City in a city called St. Joseph. And, like, if I see someone riding a bicycle in my neighborhood... You assume they stole it. Something's wrong. <laughs> like, that, like I'm, like, out the window. I'm like, should I call the police <laughs> on this? This is uncomfortable. This is not good. So, yeah, there's a little bit of difference. I, I think, well, when are you guys coming to California? I don't think California is ready for us. Yeah, California I, is no place for an agent. Have you ever left, like, the, like, Midwest? Not particularly. Okay. Like, I, I want to take you to California. I don't think it's a good idea. It's, it'd be bad, but, like... like it we, wouldn't be bad. I think w- th- you guys should do a video where it's, like, before and after, like, California makeovers. You know, get, like, beanies. Blonde hair. <laughs> yeah. Beach blonde hair. Okay. Or some plaid. 
Look at the color of this paper. Now compare it to the color of my arm. I will burn. White like, on right. I will come on back one? bright red. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. Like, it was like the beginning of April, and we went to an event, and it was an outdoor event, and it was like 40 degrees out and cloudy, and I got a sunburn. Just toast. I got a sunburn at a farmer's market. What's a farmer's market? You don't have a farmer's market? We got market? those where they sell farmers, yeah. right? Yeah. No. Pick like, up your local farmer. Yeah. It's like you, a dating site. Yeah. Do you really not have farmer's market? We can start a dating site, the farmer's <laughs> market. Wait, that is a capital idea. This is the best thing we've ever thought of. You know you sound like a Muppet when you make that voice? <laughs> do I sound like a Muppet? Yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, we should do an entire episode with Muppets. Like, I know a puppeteer. Do you? I do. Why? Because, okay, so, like, I'm, like, a big theater person. Like, Adrian went straight into the good old world of literature, but, like, I dabbled in theater for a long time. And, like, even in theater, there's a ranking system. (laughs) Like, you know, the top of the line, like, oh, you do musical theater? That's impressive. Oh, dramatic plays? Very good for you. Oh, you do performance art? All right. And all the way down to the bottom, below the mimes, are the puppeteers. Yeah, below the improv. <laughs> because, like, even the puppeteers, somebody's like, oh, I, I work with puppets. And you're like, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Distance, please. What color yeah. is your van? <laughs> it's just disturbing, man. But, like, they're very passionate about what they do. And, like, I assume there is a puppeteer watching that's just going to be like, absolutely not. <laughs> with puppets the are puppet, great <laughs> With the puppet voice. <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is terrible. <laughs> We should make unsubscribe. We should do an entire variety hour sitting under the table with puppets. With a doll and an Adrian puppet? Yes, like with the little arms and everything. We'll do full avenue. I would not watch that. (laughs) (laughs) How would you not watch that? And I would watch, I watch every video. No, I would not watch that. You as a puppet. What? You said you. It does take away the looks. Uh, the, the strong jawline that's not there in right. the puppet. So. See, you say you have a strong jawline. I already look like a puppet. <laughs> so, like, this is great for me. This is moving up in the world. But you'd have merch ideas, though. Now you can sell the puppets. Yeah. Just put them in the Little back. finger puppets. Like, we've talked for the longest time that we we'd are... Sell it, we'd sell it under the, the guise of Finger Dalton. <laughs> We've talked for the longest time, like, we're basically Statler and Waldorf from the Muppets. I mean, we're the two old men who sit in the balcony just, like, cracking just... (laughs) I think we need to make this transition in life. Like, I think, like, I am far enough along in my adult life that I'm like, puppets are a great idea. (laughs) Nothing can go wrong with this. With all of the hell that goes on on the internet with transitions, Dalton's choosing to transition into a Muppet, so, like... (laughs) I feel like you've created a brand new low. (laughs) I self-identify as a Muppet. <laughs> like, even other people transitioning would be like, fuck that. <laughs> like, I just want to go to work, like, holding a puppet, and they're like, what are you doing? Like, How dare you, sir? We, we do not this. support this transition in our community. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm done now at this point. Like, Basically, I hope you honestly, have something to go on to. The only, the only real transition Dalton needs to go to to become a Muppet is to get the, the Google eyes, you know? The, yeah. The, just put those on under your glasses and it's full transition, baby. I went through a period of time where, like, I bought a package of Google Eyes and just started putting them on everything in my house. Because, like, let me tell you, you get home after having a bad day of work, open the fridge to grab a beer, and it's just bobbling looking no. at you. Change your life. No, that's For... not true. It's sad because every time you put Google Eyes on anything, when they're just sitting there, they're looking down like they're sad. Yeah. So I tried that. You pick them up and they're happy <laughs> again. <laughs> you know... You make me feel so much better about myself. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. What does that you, mean, Melissa? Go on. Uh, you know, I just, I'm a lot happier. Okay. Yeah. Is I'm that, like, you know what? I'm not that bad. I'm not that weird. <laughs> it's because not I, that bad. It could be worse. I could be Dalton. I could be a yeah. lot worse. So, like, uh, you know, a lot of people, we always try to, like, you know, talk about how this actually works and, like, how Adrian and I's relationship work. How do you feel the differences between, like, watching Strip Cover Lit and dealing with this shit? I prefer the term Adrian and Dalton's interactions. Okay, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I, it's exactly how I expected it to okay, be. Okay, never yeah. mind. <laughs> so there's not really much of a Protagonist difference. and antagonist? Yeah. I was wholeheartedly just trying to get away from the Muppet thing and, like, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> right back to it. We're done here. Glad we had this conversation. I'm going to say, say some things. Um, you should try avocado toast. I think I'm allergic to avocado. Really? I really do. 
Uh, it's it's in the same uh, family as bananas, right? Probably like they're very, I think they're very closely related to bananas. And at one point in time, I was really allergic to bananas. And I think I'm allergic to avocados, too, because they make my throat swell. Okay. Are you allergic to anything? Not that I know of. Don't I'm just really picky. Really? Yeah. Wholeheartedly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've witnessed yeah. the picky experience. I went to a Japanese steakhouse with some friends once. They'd never gone to one before. And <clears throat> you ever been? Turns out I'm allergic to Japanese. Oh, fair enough. You ever been, though? Like, like <laughs> yeah, the shrimp, hibachi grill, uh, Benihana, I think, was the big popular one for a long time. Uh, and they threw a shrimp into one of my buddy's mouths. You know, he, he ate it. And, like, two minutes later, he's, like, chugging his water and, like, ordering ice cream. I'm like, all right, whatever. And he's devouring the ice cream as it gets there. I'm like, are you okay? He's like, I think I'm a shrimp. I'm like, oh, my dear Christ. Yeah, that's the a bad one, The things you too. find out. Yeah. It's like, it's like tree nuts. If yeah. you're allergic to tree nuts, you're not just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a little allergic to peanuts. That's the thing that, like, I don't trust a lot of shrimp and seafood like i love sushi i absolutely love it but i have a difficult time eating it what? because it comes from the fine oceans of missouri when you get it here like it's not fresh in it's the not least coming from missouri they're, it's, they're it's being frozen and brought here exactly i don't trust that like if i want to eat it i want it to be fresh and good i don't not... care i will devour raw protein yes yeah. delicious i've never had like Real sushi. sushi. Yeah. You're well, from California. I've had vegan sushi. What? What's a vegan? <laughs> what is a vegan? Are, we, are you serious? This yeah. is Missouri. Oh, uh, you don't eat meat or dairy. Oh, Just any, anything that has animal product. Okay. So, like, is beef an animal product? Yes. And you're, chicken? You're fucking jerky. Yes. <laughs> so is it still an animal product when it's jerky? Yes. Oh. We were talking about this earlier. So you don't... You don't sniff glue either. Why would you sniff glue? To get high. Why would I get high? Well, it, it's a joke. You know, it's oh, California. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, I've about? never gone high before in my life. I've never gone high before. <laughs> oh God, Let God. me tell you. Yeah. Uh, well, I keep it real low. <laughs> we were talking about that though, like portion sizes, especially like being from the Midwest and compared to California. Like, I don't know, like, if I could survive, because I'm going to be paying like three times for half the meal. Yes. Like, when I go to, like, eat, I expect my plate to be literally, like, overflowing with food. Like, I do not feel comfortable unless I'm taking that food home to eat it for two more meals. And you're paying for presentation, too. And for ambiance, if you're going to, like, a hipster place. I don't feel comfortable unless I have regrets. This is accurate. <laughs> this is accurate. Like, there's this uh, restaurant. I live next to a uh, military base, an Air Force. It's right across the river, Elwood. And, like, I guess there's a restaurant called, like, the Airport Cafe over there, and people keep telling me it's, like, so wonderful. And for $5, they'll send you a tenderloin sandwich that is bigger than the plate. And, like, that's the selling point. Not that, you know, it's delicious <laughs> or it's a nice ambiance. Like, that motherfucker's bigger than the plate for $5? You're going to be eating for a week. You should get on that. I'm about it. Okay. Nah, I have no transition for that. So what, uh, what vegetables do you like? Vegetables. Vegetables? I like, I actually am not picky with vegetables. That's a lie. Why? Because you're picky with anything that you decide to eat. I, mm, I, I. Yeah, right. I, not with vegetables though. Uh, like I, I don't think I'm that picky. It's just that I'm just particular about things. Just I, uh, textures. Textures. Yes. You don't like olives. No. Olives are delicious. No, that was very disappointing. <laughs> I, I was so upset about the olive thing. It's my favorite color. My roommate, and if you've, like, watched her cover lit for a long time, Josh from the Aristocrats. Uh, meat. The meat. Uh, refuses to eat any vegetable. Like, he will not eat any vegetables, Okay, that's period. weird. That is weird. Like, yeah. he will go to the Taco Bell, the finest of restaurants, as we discussed it's earlier. It's not real Mexican. And, like, he will be, like, he'll order his taco, and he's like, can I get no lettuce on that? And they're like, you just want meat and cheese? Like, yes. He'll get a burger, and he's like, just meat and cheese, please. Nothing else. No he vegetables. Know that cheese is a vegetable? I, I, I guess not. And they're grown from the finest cheese plants. And as we all know, Monse loves cheese. Monse does love cheese. We even did a tag about it. We should go to a cheese <laughs> store. There's one right outside of St. Joe. Do you have a cheese store? Yeah. Oh, you don't have what? cheese stores? Fuck if I know, I wouldn't go. Like, you go in there and, like, there's these big, like, coolers. Like, you're in, like, the dairy section of, like, any grocery store. With, yeah. like, little Tupperware things of cheese and toothpicks. And you literally just go and you can, like, eat all the cheese you want. Like, but what? have you never been to a cheese true. store? Yeah. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. You've never been to a cheese store? No. Oh, we're making it a road trip. It sounds like 
I'm, they probably don't have them in Colorado because you can't set them up next to a pot store. You'd go out of business. Or you'd have great business. I read an article once. If you cheese you want, no. I read an article once about this. Uh, it was a Girl Scout, and she set yeah. up a stand right outside of a dispensary <laughs> in Colorado. <laughs> Killed it. At first it was controversial, but now it's like... It's brilliant. It's, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. everywhere. It's location, yeah. location, location. <laughs> But no, you just go in and you get your Tupperware and you're like, I want to try this cheese. You get a toothpick, you eat it, you use the same toothpick to touch all the other cheeses. <laughs> just rub it's it normal. Over there. And like they're usually on the side of highways. They're like tourist attractions. I feel bad. Okay. We're 25 minutes into a variety hour and we've talked as if Monse is not even here. Fair. Yeah. Say something. Explain yourself. Ex- explain myself. Well, why don't you explain me from your perspective? What? Yeah, like. How different am I in person? You're not. You're the Monse that's on the channel. Exactly. Like exactly. I feel sometimes I feel like I'm a different. Bit less intense sometimes. Well yeah, because like I'm by myself in a room ranting. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like I'm ta- I'm comfortable with what, what I'm talking. I know what you mean, Monse. I've run a channel alone for a year and a half. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh so let me describe how this worked for me. Last no, week. Hold on. Monse was talking. <laughs> We don't need to tell every story, Dalton. We don't need For to tell once, every story. I get on to adult. interrupt somebody, and it makes we don't me need feel to tell good. Every story on the channel. Karen, yeah, but you're not Karen. supposed to interrupt me. I'm here. She's a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. You were saying. But well, I was just gonna say, do you guys feel like you're different, like from the videos? I'm very then... different. Oh, you mean from the videos? No. Yeah, it's and me. like, if people were to meet you, do you think they'd be like disappointed or something? People are always disappointed when they meet me, <laughs> but I don't think it has anything to do with the channel. We've talked about this in the past, where, like, on the channel, we do become very, like, personified versions of ourselves. We're very much ourselves, 100%. But, like, yes. we do amplify it quite a bit when we're we're doing reviews, because we're having fun. We're enjoying it. But, like, now, wholeheartedly, have you gone to dinner with Adrian yet? Like, have you gone out to, like, eat anywhere? Yes. How'd it go? Well, I'm fine. Did he scrutinize the menu and yell at the uh, person trying to sell him something? No. Okay. I don't know. Don't No, think. here's the thing. I totally forgot about that because I know you've mentioned in a video about the coffee, the barista, and something. Every time, man. And I knew I felt like you were, like, BSing that. No. Because when we go out, he he's very nice. See, here's the thing, though. Like, it's gotten to the point that if we go get coffee anywhere in Kansas City, we go to the same place and they know him. So he walks up and they're like, oh, Adrian, large coffee. And he's like, mm-hmm. They fill it, move on with life. But take him somewhere he is out of his element and he doesn't know, it's amazing. He just It's just phenomenal. He's very polite. I'm like, super I, polite, Dalton, you son of a bitch. I, you know, no waitress has started crying. You know, yeah. there's yes. been no table flipping. You know, just... See, like, I'm the complete opposite. Like, if I go somewhere and, like, they give me the wrong thing, like, I ordered something, they give me something else, I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna eat this. Thank you. This looks wonderful. That's what I do. I'm not saying anything. That's what I do. I don't think so. <laughs> See, he, he tries to paint this picture of the crotchety old man. When really, really, he's the crotchety one. I do love my Yeah, that's stash. true. I'm set in my ways. He's crotchety. Okay. Okay. I can totally see that. I feel like we've grown a lot as a channel here. <laughs> like we've moved on in the world. Yeah. Do we have anything else we want to hit on here? Monse. I mean, we have Monse. Uh, when are you going to California? To the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? <laughs> I would love nothing more than to take Andrew into the Wizarding World. <laughs> that video has to be made. If that. by California you mean Montana, sure, maybe, sometime. Like, Don't I, expect me to come back. I have no quells whatsoever. I will get on a plane next month and we will go to California and it will be Adrian World Tour. I've never been there. Adrian It'd hates the world. You've never been to California? <laughs> no, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. <laughs> we could go. It'd be great. we got to get out of here. We probably should. Yep. Anyway. If you like this sort of thing, hit the like button. If you have not already subscribed, maybe consider hitting descri- subscribe, even though Dalton is back. <laughs> Monte, you want to end us here? Uh, yes. Subscribe to my channel where I never make videos. We will link it in the description below. If we can find it, it might be shut down. <laughs>
Good, good. Yeah. See, I wasn't so bad.